Okay, we'd like to demonstrate the 1004.1 TPS PWM. This PWM attaches directly to the throttle position sensor. We have the throttle position sensor here, which attaches to the, directly to the back of the PWM. For this demonstration, we'll be using the throttle position sensor switch, the amp meter, the PWM, and the hydrogen cell. To start with, we'll turn the unit on. When you turn the unit on, you will notice that the power indicator light comes on in the upper left hand corner of the unit. The indicator light in the center of the unit indicates whether you are in low or high production. In low production, the indicator light will be green. In high production, the indicator light will be red. To set the unit up, we will use the range control directly underneath the indicator light. Start by turning the range control fully counterclockwise. This will force the unit into the high production mode. The first control on the unit is used to adjust the high production mode. We will set it to about 30 amps. Next, go back to the range control. Slowly rotate the range control clockwise until the green indicator light comes on. When the green indicator light comes on, you are running in the reduced hydrogen mode or the idle mode. Set the amount of hydrogen that you would like for your unit to produce while, in, while idling by using the third control on the unit. We will set it to about 15 amps. Okay, we have the unit all set up now and we're going to use the throttle position sensor to simulate acceleration. When we advance the throttle position sensor, the indicator light will turn red indicating that we are in high production and the amp meter will return to 30 amps. When you release the throttle position sensor, the indicator light will turn green indicating that you are in the reduced hydrogen mode or the idle mode and the amperage will return to your previous setting of 15 amps.